my dear students of 12th class and today in your botany we are going to discuss that DNA is the genetic material and that is proved by an experiment and generally known as the transduction and this experiment was conducted by Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase and is therefore called as the Hershey Chase experiment or the transduction and which gives us the proof that DNA is the genetic material and the experiment was carried out on the bacteriophages the bacteriophages are the bacterial viruses and t2 is a bacteriophage t2 is a bacteriophage which infects Escherichia coli the bacterium present in common cell in human intestine and e coli or the Escherichia coli can also be grown over culture medium. It was A.D. Hershey and Maratha Chase in 1952 and they grew two cultures of Escherichia coli. One culture was supplied with radioactive sulfur S35. The other culture was provided with the radioactive phosphorus P32. Radioactive sulfur gets incorporated into the radioactive sulfur gets incorporated into sulfur containing amino acids cysteine and methionine and therefore becomes part of the bacterial proteins. Again, the radioactive sulfur gets incorporated into the sulfur containing amino acids because the amino acids contain the sulfur like the cysteine and methionine and therefore becomes a part of the bacterial proteins. A radioactive phosphorus gets incorporated into nucleotides which form nucleic acids, mostly DNA. Therefore, bacteria of both the cultures became labeled or the heart. The bacteriophage attaches to the bacteria and gets its genetic material, then enters the bacterial cell. The bacterial cell treats the viral genetic material as it, it was its own and subsequently manufactures more virus particles. Hershey and Chase worked to discover whether it was protein or DNA from the viruses that entered the bacteria and they grew some viruses on a medium that contained radioactive phosphorus and some others on the medium that contained radioactive sulfur. Viruses grown in the presence of radioactive phosphorus contain radioactive DNA but not radioactive protein because DNA contains phosphorus but protein does not. Similarly, viruses grown on the radioactive sulfur contain a radioactive protein but not radioactive DNA because DNA does not contain sulfur. And then radioactive phages were allowed to radioactive phages were allowed to attach to E. coli bacteria. And then, as the infection proceeded, the viral coats were removed from the bacteria by agitating them in a blender. The virus particles were separated from the bacteria by spinning them in a centrifuge. And bacteria which was infected with the viruses that had radioactive DNA were radioactive, indicating that DNA was the genetic material 
that passed it from the virus to the bacteria and bacteria that were infected with the viruses that had radioactive proteins were not radioactive indicating that the proteins do not enter the bacteria from the viruses and they do not carry they did not carry the radioactivity into the progeny thus dna is therefore the genetic material that is passed from virus virus to bacteria here you can visualize these are the bacteriophage on the left hand side bacteriophage <coughs> that is labeled with s35 sulfur 35 protein capsule and on the right hand side radioactive phosphorus p35 labeled the dna forming the particular bacteriophage s35 enters the proteins as and the p32 is taken up by in the nucleotides in dna and then infection infection got into the bacteriophage progeny of the next generation well as the protein capsule and that were that were um, that were draw that were got as if they did not brought any change in the progeny and there was no radioactivity ultimately detected in the cells that was that were labeled with sulfur 35 and radioactive sulfur 35 detected in the supernatant that means it did not got it got into the dna of the progeny and here you can see that radioactive phosphorus that is p35 p32 rather p32 was detected in the cells and there was no radioactivity detected in the supernatant after centrifugation and this proved that dna is the ultimate genetic material and not the proteins and this is the famous hershey cheese experiment also known as the transduction which gave us the proof that dna is the genetic material and not the proteins thanks have a nice day